you know, the AI is like what shows you like those ads. Like we kind of are merged with AI already in some sense. Like all of our news is catered to us by like an AI algorithm. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, I think that, yeah, I mean, these like these algorithms really just push like the clickbait on us pretty hard. Um, I was going to ask you actually kind of about this. Um, will you merge with AI? Will I merge with AI? Is that option available? Well, I mean, let's say that like it's, it's available soon. Like, will you merge with AI if Neuralink happens or something? Like, will you merge with AI? So I guess what does that mean to merge with AI? Like, do I go into a virtual reality or do I just go like full on, I become a smartphone? See, I guess there's like, so there's a car outside. Um, but, uh, I guess there's, like, two levels of it, right? There's, like, augmented reality, and then there's, like, you live in in AI. Uh, or I guess there's, like, you get, like, a supercomputer brain, but you still live in, like, this world. <laughs> I mean, like that th- cool. Of those levels, I guess there's, like, AR. Yeah. Then there's supercomputer brain, you live in this world. Yeah. And then there's, like, totally new reality. Is there, like, at one of those steps or anywhere between where you're like, yeah, I'm fine merging with AI, or are you just like, no, I'm never doing it? I mean, I don't really see a downside to having a supercomputer brain outside of, I don't know, I feel like if I were that smart, I'd be pretty fucking depressed. Um, I think that, I mean, what if the supercomputer, like, dies or something or malfunctions or whatever, though? Well, I mean, you could have a brain hemorrhage, like, during this podcast, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, I mean, what, yeah. what's the quality of, uh... Of the supercomputer. Hopefully they can just bring it back, right? And they, they'll they put you on ice or something. I don't know. Like, how did... You, you ever watch that uh, show, Teen Titans? Yeah. Remember the cyborg dude? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, I, I imagine it'd be like that, except I, you know, I, I don't have any special powers. My arm's not a cannon. Are you saying that... I mean, I think that... I think if you get to that third level of AI, you could have an arm cannon. I, look, dude, you're really selling this. I, I don't see a problem with any of this. <laughs> 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 I think, um, I mean, like, what if, like, next year you can get a chip in your brain? Uh-huh. Are you going to do it? Well, that, that, okay, here's the question. 20 grand, 20 grand. Right, but Even. if I pay 30, do I get the version that doesn't have any ads? I don't know. I think, <laughs> I think there will <laughs> always be ads. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're funny. about to do something and for, like, 15 seconds you need to watch, like, a Hyundai commercial. <laughs> it's like do you want to use this uh it's like this this part it's like, yeah it's like all freemium shit like you're like <laughs> you're like <laughs> you're like ai is like you're like trading stocks and it's like to know what to do with this stock you need to watch an ad for fucking <laughs> budweiser <laughs> yeah exactly man like oh i i know now how to you know to make a souffle just because i have this chip but you know now i need to like sign up for like the the 1099 like premium spotify whatever it's you know there's no way that something like that's not going to be monetized yeah i think that um i uh, i personally I don't know. Do you think you'll be able to just monetize your thoughts? Like, the way that we, like, sell our data kind of now? Like, we just be able to monetize your thought? <laughs> uh, I, you know, if there are that many Bang Energy drink flavors, I <laughs> I have no faith in, like, how we do anything anymore. So I, I think there's a possibility for, like, <laughs> evil to prevail in terms of, like, monetizing that. Some people should not be merged with AI. We should not merge the, the drink like designers at bang energy with ai Could they will imagine? come out with <laughs> they'll come out with like pineapple earwood mushroom <laughs> 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 i would drink an earwood mushroom drink you know why i've had a mushroom tea before and it was amazing really yeah i had mushroom tea at alinea and it was incredible yeah i hear ads for they like told... mushroom coffee and i'm like that sounds fucking horrible but now what yeah mushroom man. coffee oh yeah you know, the AI is, like, what shows you, like, those ads. Like, we kind of are merged with AI already in some sense. Like, all of our news is catered to us by, like, an AI algorithm. Yeah, the that's true. The ads that we see to buy stuff is AI. Like, we're already kind of merged with it. Like, it's impossible to even have AI without us, you know? You know, some of it is kind of beneficial, though, because I was like, man, what am I going to do for the next few months? And then, you know, 
fate or Amazon was like, Hey motherfucker, have you played this Xbox game? And next thing you know, it was in my <laughs> cart. And I was like, God damn it. They're good. I mean, do you know how good you would be at COD if you had AI in your brain? Oh, I'd kill it, man. You would have like a, you, it would add like at least five to every kill streak, I think. Oh, I think so. I'd get the tactical nuke or whatever it is now they're playing. These kids nowadays. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how bummed you'd be if like some 12 year old fucking no scoped you while you had an AI brain? You know, that's another thing though, right? Like if you had AI brain and you still like fucked up, you know, like you got into a car crash. You know how mad you would be? Uh, just like any mistake, I mean, right? Like you fall or like you trip up the stairs and you're just like, fuck you, AI brain. <laughs> do you think if you had an AI brain, you would still get like a self-driving Tesla? Or do you think you would just be able to like autopilot it and think whatever you want? Yeah, that's a good question, man. I don't know if you could just like turn off part of your, you know, like have a free thinking like human part of your brain and then just have the AI do that. But I feel like that's kind of how we operate sometimes now, right? Like you ever just like leave your kid in the car and be like, oh shit, you know, because you were kind of on autopilot thinking about like burritos. I have never done that. I don't have a kid though. You have, a, what do you? Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> I mean, if I did have a kid and I left it in the car, I must have really had a brain fart because I totally even forgot they exist. But yeah, no, I've, I've done that kind of thing before. You forget. Like, yeah, you just forget you know, something, some right? Like, thing. where's my cell phone? Why yeah. do you think the tile, like, industry exists? It's because people forget. You know, they're too busy just, like, doing stuff. So I think, like, if AI, with or without ads, would, like, take away the tile industry, I'm for it. You're replacing one thing with another. The tile industry? Yeah, you know those little, like, um, things that you put on your keys or, like, on your phone, and then, like, you can ring them and GPS track them? Oh, I, I, don't, I don't know anything about those. Do you have those? Oh, of course I do. <laughs> oh, you, yeah, I've seen you lose, you losing your keys is, like, a, it was, like, a daily occurrence. It's, I literally use it to find my phone because I have it in, like, my wallet and my keys, and I'm like, where the fuck is my phone? There's no way I just, like, lost it because I've been home all day. And instead of spending six hours looking for it and then getting fired because I can't get on a conference call, I just ring it with my tile. I think that people need to know that Steve Buffett in college lost his keys every single day. I swear, it was like every day or every other day. And it was literally your only possession you needed to keep track of. Like It, it was a dark fucking period. <laughs> it was... <laughs> You lost it all the time. I we'd be like we we could be like closing the door and locking it and you'd be like, Where are my keys? <laughs> <laughs> I, do you remember that time I lost them, like right as the, the college year ended and like I just didn't have them for like two days and then the police showed up and were like, Are these your keys? And I was like, Holy I do shit. Remember that. that was Yeah. Those are mine. It was amazing how you survived without them too. It was crazy, man. Thank God for, for my roommate who was just like, I'll leave it open. We we don't have anything worth stealing. It was like Canada over there. Like, nobody locked the doors. Just fuck it. <laughs> Come on in. Uh, yeah. I, I don't, I don't really, I don't even sometimes feel comfortable, like, leaving the door unlocked when I'm, like, in the house. I don't know why. No one has ever, in the history of me living in my home anywhere, just come up to the door and, like, jiggle the handle. And I'm always like, lock that. <laughs> I think about that, too. I'm like, I need that thing barricaded. I've got, like, three locks on it and, like, a rifle shoot to kill on, like, an automatic sentry. I'm like, don't come in. But you're right. Like, nobody...